In this question, we're asked to determine the difference of order of magnitude of launching the space shuttle and a diesel freight train at high speed. So looking at the table above, notice how the sound pressure for launching the space shuttle is given as two billion micropascals, and the sound pressure for a diesel freight train at high speed is given as 200,000 micropascals. Now let's review how to determine the difference in order of magnitude. Given two quantities A and B, we use the following formula to determine how many orders of magnitude A is greater than B. The difference in order of magnitude is equal to the common log of A divided by B. To understand the meaning of this, if one quantity is ten times or ten to the first times larger than another quantity, it is one order of magnitude larger. If one quantity is a hundred times or ten to the second times larger than another, it is two orders of magnitude larger. So notice how the order of magnitude is equal to the exponent on ten, which is the reason why the difference in order of magnitude is equal to a common log. Remember, logarithms are exponents. So now going back to our example, let's write the sound pressure in scientific notation. So two billion would be equal to two times ten raised to the power of, to form the number two from two billion, we have to move the decimal point left nine places, so two billion is equal to two times ten to the ninth. And now for two hundred thousand in scientific notation, we'd have two times ten raised to the power of, to form two, we move the decimal point to the left five places, so two hundred thousand is equal to two times ten to the fifth. And now we'll determine the difference in order of magnitude, which is equal to the common log of the sound pressure of the space shuttle launch, which is two times ten to the ninth, divided by the sound pressure for the diesel freight train, which is two times ten to the fifth. Now we could just type this in the calculator, but let's go ahead and simplify this by hand. Two divided by two simplifies to one, and then we have ten to the ninth divided by ten to the fifth because the bases are the same and we're dividing and we're dividing we subtract the exponents so this simplifies to the common log of ten to the power of nine minus five which equals four. So this ten to the fourth tells us that the sound pressure for launching the space shuttle is ten to the fourth or ten thousand times stronger than the sound pressure of a diesel freight train at high speed. And the value of this common log tells us the difference in the order of magnitude. So if we let x equal the difference in the order of magnitude, we'd have the log equation x equals the common log of ten to the fourth. Now if we recognize here x is going to be four, that gives us a difference in order of magnitude, but if we don't, we would write this log equation as an exponential equation. And because this is common log, we know this is log base ten, and so to write the equivalent exponential equation, notice how the base is ten, the exponent would be x, and this would be equal to the number ten to the fourth. So the equivalent exponential equation, again, would be ten to the x must equal ten to the fourth. And notice how here, because these are equal and the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal, and therefore x equals four, which tells us which tells us the noise of launching the space shuttle is four orders of magnitude greater than the noise of a diesel freight train. Now we did solve this by hand, but I do want to show how we could have evaluated this using the calculator. We could have just entered the common log of two billion divided by two hundred thousand, close parenthesis and enter, which also gives us the difference in magnitude of four. I hope you found this helpful.